the Group Technical Training Academy, the complete solution for your training needs. Technicians can learn from leading instructors on trends, issues, and technology. The Group's comprehensive training program will provide information that will sharpen your skills. I have a tech tip and some information regarding the IHX, that is the Internal High Pressure Expansion Device. We can find an additional IHX on R134A systems, late model 134s, and we'll also find it on the R1234YF system. First tip, if you find that there are sealants in the system, your customer is not going to be happy because in all essence the entire air conditioning system should be should be replaced the sealants will contaminate everything in the system the expansion valve the evaporator the lines the condenser the compressor all of these will need to be replaced including the IHX we always used to do the cycling clutch orifice tube systems and we would see that the orifice tube is kind of a stop check to the system. Let's say it wasn't the presence of sealants, but a lack of lubrication. We have an internal compressor failure. Little bits and pieces of metal throughout the system will actually get trapped in the orifice tube. The proper procedure depending on the design and type of the condenser, would be to replace the compressor, the orifice tube, the accumulator, and also the condenser, because it'll be very difficult with, with today's condenser designs to flush those systems. You'll need to replace it. However, we may use a flush agent, and we may have some success by flushing the evaporator. So maybe we saved the evaporator. If it's an R134A system or an R1234YF system with an internal high pressure expansion valve on top of the regular expansion valve, if there was enough contaminants from a failed compressor or the wrong lubrication or any type of contaminants in the system enough to damage the regular expansion valve, you might as well plan on, when you're doing the estimate to the customer, adding in a new IHX. And to replace the IHX, you're going to replace the entire line. So you might as well price that out. If there's enough debris or contaminants to clog the expansion valve, Rest assured, it's going to be trapped and it is going to clog the internal high pressure expansion valve. That could be in a new R1234YF system or in a 134 system. If there are sealants present and you know the sealants have clogged the expansion valve, most definitely they have clogged the IHX and regrettably, probably the entire air conditioning system will need to be replaced. Either way, we have a new component, we have new hardware, and we have an additional item that can fail due to contaminants in the system, poor or wrong lubrication. Be watching for these internal high-pressure expansion valve systems.